What's a fun way to spice up a six-year relationship? I'm 23, my partner is 25. We met when I was 16. Full of adventure and fun. Constantly out and about. Well now we are older have been through the ringer and it seems like the relationship is just kinda boring. Not in just a sexual aspect, the entire relationship. Granted we really have been through it all we also have a three-year-old. There are seasons in a long-term marriage. Sometimes it gets boring, there are dry spells, an emotional strain just like there is joy and adventure and contentment. All of that is okay and normal until you stop caring to keep moving through it. Sometimes that looks like enduring it, but it can also look like mixing up the routine, add a shared hobby, or, like my husband and I are doing lately, is finding a great marriage book workbook to work though with each other to be proactive in growing it and addressing some areas that might need attention. When a relationship first starts, it's full of fun and adventure. After all, both are continually discovering new things about each other. After a while, it's been there, done that. That's when it effort to keep the adventure going. And the more time into the relationship, the more the effort. My wife and I have been together for more than 40 years now. Longer, if you count the pre-marriage years. So I can tell you, it takes a lot of effort. Phew. Wiping the sweat off my brow. But guess what? Ultimately, it's well worth it. There's no greater joy than growing old together. Go on dates again. You guys met years ago. People change and it adds spark to your relationship. We are older and have been through the ringer, nobody at 23 or 25 should have to say that. People all too often feel like life can no longer be interesting after around 22. I hope the comments on here so far are trolls, breaking up, threesome, or exhibitionism lol no. If you have a three-year-old I would guess that most of your time and energy of late has gone into them? Kids can be great if you want them, but it can often result in growing distant from your partner or losing your sense of identity if you aren't careful. Not because you don't love each other but because you have a dependent now that takes a lot of time and effort. Do you have any family or friends that would be willing to take your child for an overnight or two? Just for a few hours for a date night can be good too, but if you're both exhausted then finding the time to catch up on sleep can really help you enjoy the time together. If that isn't possible I'd recommend trying a new hobby out together or playing one of those couples question games. Something to reconnect and remind you why you have both chosen each other. See a marriage counselor. The replies in this thread so far should convince you that this is not the place to get advice on relationships. Don't check the post history. Worst mistake of my life. I wouldn't say you e been through it all. You're still going through it and sometimes this is a part of it. Sometimes, shit's just boring. You make your own fun and I highly, highly advise going on hikes or walks together at a minimum weekly. Also, go take a week vacation this year on your own and you'll see how much you miss them. Lastly, start doing thoughtful acts of service for each other, something surprising and try to one-up each other. Make it a game? I think there are healthier ways to spice up a relationship that has grown stagnant than breaking up or adding partners outside of your relationship. If you want to do that by all means go ahead. If you're looking for ways to spice it up outside of the bedroom try exploring some different hobbies you guys can do together. Or since you have a kid start some family traditions like yearly camping trips or something. If you need to spice it up in the bedroom introduce some toys or role playing, be open with each other about your fantasies and explore them more. I think all long-term relationships have their valleys and peaks, and that's natural, especially with a young kid in the mix. Are you both bored or just you, and have you spoken to your partner about feeling that way? Time for counseling. Don't take advice from on this, please. Get professional advice. Is just going to give you headworms. I'm going to be honest with you, boring is in the natural mood progression of a relationship. Boring is the ultimate sign of security and stability. Everything most stable in life is boring. Trees. Boulders. Etc. You will reach the boring stage with anyone you dated doesn't go away and shouldn't be looked down upon. It's an achievement. I wish people would stop ending relationships for BS like this. WTF about life in general is always exciting?
Boring is a part of life. Stop asking so much from your relationships. Eat a Carolina Reaper together, then do oral. What's it all? Wife and I started poor in shit jobs. I've had cancer. She's done a master's. I'm doing one now. My aunt just died. Her mom had open heart surgery. A hole melted in our dishwasher and it flooded our basement. Been fighting with Frigidaire for a month. We have a two-year-old who currently has the flu. Been married eight years. We've been through a lot. Definitely don't do what we did when we were in our 20s. Romance at 20 was a surprise visit at college. Romance in our 30s is me buying oat milk creamer for both of us because wife needs to watch her cholesterol. Relationships change over time. Everything isn't perfect but we try to be better for each other and for our daughter. We aren't bored, though. What do you want out of a relationship? What does your partner want? What does each PFUOU need? How are you making time for one another? Are there activities you can enjoy together or apart, if being together too much is the issue? If the relationship is worth it to you, have open communication about your needs wants issues, and maybe with the help of a counselor. Lingerie, dates, holiday without your toddler if that's realistic. Been there myself, you and hubs need to go away, without the three years old, for at least two nights. Do not stay home, you need a change. It is miraculous how well this works. After viewing your profile ask your husband if he has any kinks he'd like to try out. Turn into yes man. Go do all the things. High octane jam packed activities is exhausting and you'll enjoy the boring parts. Take the kids for a day and set up a scavenger hunt for her. Make sure the end is something elaborate and sentimental with you and your kid waiting for her. Maybe send her to places where you used to go on dates. Dates. It's so important to spend time doing things together. Spoken as man who got divorced in his 20s, there's nothing more important than activities you do with your spouse. Take trips to places you have never been to. Doesn't matter where. Pick a fun and new thing to do together every week, an alternate who picks. Don't be a doc of course, and choose something you know your partner will hate, but do something different and unexpected for each other. Most places have a webpage where new. Social activities are posted every week. Sometimes it's nice to not see each for a week or so. Actually allow each other to miss each other. Honestly, other than marriage counseling, just trying new interesting activities, restaurants, etc. together consistently can go miles in a relationship. Ultimately I would avoid taking advice from, though. Be as open with them as you are with us. Maybe a marriage counselor. Ask what you two want from life each other the world. Find a way to achieve it. Start a family hobby, road trip. I mean Tabasco scorpion sauce is kinda spicy. You guys are growing apart as humans. You had a child way too early. The relationship has ran its course. This is okay, be prepared to break up and be there for your child. You can still raise your baby while not being a couple. Don't ask for anything that involves additional sexual partners. Find a babysitter for your kid. Go out on dates again. Dinner, concerts, painting and wine. Whatever. And maybe do some couples counseling. I know stuff like that is stigmatized but do it for the sake of your relationship. Me and my lady got the couple adventure book. Good for any point in a relationship. Gives good and fun ideas for dates you wouldn't think of on your own. There are icons giving a general idea of what to do like whether it's outside, how much it costs, where you need to go, how long, etc. And then you scratch off the date and you guys have to hold each other to doing it. It's great fun. Definitely continue to date, go out to live shows and have fun. Also, spice up the sex life. Broaden the sex horizons. Visit a sex shop together my hubs and I did awkwardly the first time. Find new things out and encourage each other to try new things out. It's actually fun, when actually trying it all out. Light candles, put on good music and enjoy each other's bodies. Talk to your partner about it cause I doubt you have and don't come to for relationship advice.
Half the people here don't even know how to approach a stranger in public, let alone run a long-term relationship that involves kids. It sounds cliché, but revisiting the things that brought you together originally can really get the romance going. Go travel the world together. Try out every restaurant. Visit every state. There's a lot to do lol. This is peak. Love the casual oh by the way we have a three years old. Buy a shitty broken down truck and put it back together together make it a fun activity then go on adventures together. Download an app called Lasting and try it out. It's really helped us a lot. To help a relationship last you have to keep dating. A lot of times we get stuck in a run to bills, work, kids etc. Have date nights one day a week no phone buy a cheap digital camera to take with you and go do stuff. Want to make it interesting? Do a blind date day you don't tell your partner what you are doing you just plan it. Do something that takes you a bit out of your comfort zone. The next week switch and they plan it. We also double date and do the same thing we plan it for the other couple and then they plan one for us. Eat chili. It will really make things spicy. Go on a vacation. Sounds like you need it. Travel somewhere leave the kid with sitter family if possible. Go have an adventure. If you have one night and a sitter. Go someplace with a lot of things in proximity and start with drinks at a bar then walk around looking for next adventure. People Grow and Change This book was very helpful in explaining ways to stay together through proper communication. His Needs, Her Needs by Wilbur Harley.